What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video of the Emacs Baby Hawk 85mm Micro Brushless FPV Racer. This is the PNP version and it is the only version that it's being offered right now, I believe. That means it does not come with a built-in receiver, so you will have to provide your own and install it, as well as provide a transmitter as well. So let's take a look at the quadcopter first, set it up, and take it outside for a line of sight flight, as well as the FPV flight. The frame is made of plastic and not carbon fiber that is widely used, and it is the X frame configuration. It comes with the prop guards already installed via the motor mount screws and it is pretty strong and will provide some good protection for the props. And as you can see, the props are screwed on on this one, which is really nice. So it will not fly off in mid flight. Let's check out how much this thing weighs, shall we? All right, so the quadcopter is coming in at 71 grams, and that is including the little amount of hot glue that I placed here, as well as the rubber band and the FR Scott XM Plus receiver as well. Okay, so here is the all in one 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel 25 to 200 milliwatt. Pell NTSC switchable FPV VTX with the 520 TV line CMOS camera with the dipole antenna. And the LED display is right behind here. And the single button is right there to change the frequencies and the channels. The motors are the 1104 5250 KV brushless motors and it is paired with 2.3 inch TS2345 tri-bladed clear props. The ESCs are inside of the arms and they are the bullet series, the BL Heli S6 amp and they are rated for use with 1 to 2S batteries. And the flight controller is the Emax Femto Micro F3 flight controller and it is preloaded with Betaflight 3.0.1. So let's open this baby up and install the receiver and to do this you will have to remove these two screws here, one on this side and one on the other side. Uh, these guys screw on directly into the canopy plastic shell and once you have removed those two screws you then go ahead and unclip the canopy from all of the arms here on all four of the arms and the canopy gets loose and then at that time you will remove these two screws on this side and these two screws on this side which holds down the VTX but Underneath of the screws, it is being held on by nuts just like this. So what you will need to do is secure those nuts and then remove the screws. And the VTX comes off and the canopy comes right off. And you are on the inside. Okay, so here we are on the inside, and there is the FC board. It is just double-sided taped, and the ESC wires are soldered onto the board. The ESCs have double-sided tape on top, probably to keep them from vibrating within the arms. Here is the header pins for the receiver. We are using the FR Sky XM Plus receiver, and it has the same corresponding header pin holes. But they are not spaced out to fit perfectly and the header pins need to be bent slightly for them to join up. Here is a dry fit to make sure it will work first before proceeding with the soldering.
Everything was put back together, but the receiver antennas were too close to the props, so they were rotated and wrapped around the VTX and a dab of hot glue to secure them in place. Here is the finished product and a rubber band is now wrapped around the VTX to further secure the receiver wires. Here I try on some of the batteries that I have that will work with this quadcopter but I am finding out that the strap is a little too long even for the biggest of the batteries. I find that by placing a foam pad and putting the batteries on their sides allow even the smallest one to fit as well as the largest battery. Here is the bind button on the XM Plus receiver and it is tiny but you can feel it being down pressed. So set up a model on your transmitter and power on the quadcopter while down pressing this bind button and hit the bind key on the TX and you are done. You can go into beta flight and configure the switches and settings to your liking and you are ready to fly. So let's go and see if she flies, shall we? All right, power this baby up. I'm using the 300 milliamp size battery, uh, 25C. All right. Let it configure. And because I have the battery standing straight up and down, uh, if I let go, it'll tilt. So I have to arm the motors while it's straight. And I believe that should do it. Now I can let go. And there we go. All right. Looks pretty good. I'm going to fly with the uh, prop guards on. Uh, because of the fact that the battery uh, is standing straight up. It leans and hits the ground. I just rather just opt out for the battery. I mean uh, the prop guards to be on. All right. That is the full throttle punch out. One more time. It is pretty decent. I'm running uh, stock beta flight PIDs and settings and looks like it's doing pretty good. All right. Let's try some acro flips. All right. Not bad. Bring it in a little closer. There we go. I'm kind of getting the hang of line of sight acro here. So there we go. Pretty decent little flyer. For sure. All right. Not bad, not bad. Very smooth. And it's got enough power, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to uh, angle mode. <laughs> losing uh, orientation there once I start yawing in acro. All right, not bad, huh? It's got enough power for sure. Look at that. And the stock settings are pretty decent, very responsive. Oh, this is going to be a nice flyer. A baby hawk, huh? 
Not bad. Okay, I think the battery is coming to an end, and that is the battery life. All right, here we go with the FPV flight, and let's see the distance first. We are seeing a bit of snow appearing on the video feed as we fly away. There is the 100 meter bush. And we turn around at around 130 meters and the signal is still pretty strong on the VTX. Notice the snow slowly starts to disappear as we head back. Pretty good video quality actually. Here is a roll and a flip and she has no problems with that. The Baby Hawk has enough power to do some maneuvers as well. And if the prop guards were not in view, man, I could mistake this for a bigger quadcopter actually. It has no problem climbing and does power loops with no problems too. And the default beta flight settings are pretty good actually. Wow, nice flyer. I would have to say this is one of the nicest micros I have gotten the pleasure of flying that has brushless motors. Really, really nice. You know, they are making them smaller and smaller and they are performing nicer and nicer as they are getting better at putting these things together. Wow, an awesome flyer, this one. A beautiful day, no cloud in sight, and the sun is out. Just an awesome day, no wind. Lots of power for sure. I mean, look at the power it has on this climb. Remember, it has the prop guards on. Imagine without the prop guards. It'll fly even better than this. Wow. You know, I am using the battery that came with the Fury B F90 Wasp. And it is 400 milliamp 2S 35C battery. And it is doing fantastic with it. So if you already have some of those 300 to 500 milliamp 2S batteries, lying around from previous quadcopters. And uh, that is what I am using for this quadcopter. So no need to spend more money, just recycle your old ones. Nice video quality too, not bad at all. You know, I think this is going to be one of my favorite flyers. Nice and precise and very fun to fly. Okay, I think uh, I'm coming in for the landing now. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and share and have a great day. Just awesome, man.